very pleasant day to all my subscribers my viewers the obedient family thank you for joining me this morning now bola metinubo has been on the receiving end of every negative comment after his tweet on donald trump's you know attempted assassination he actually came out to say there is no place for violence in democracy stating some stuffs and nigerians are not having it nigerians are going to remind him of snatch it grab it run with it and all that and telling him listen we know what you did you are the master of this thing so don't come out to come and start you know giving your your whole sympathy proving that yes you are you are you are you are sympathizing with him and all that we know clearly that you are the are one of the key players when it comes to the issue of violence reminding him of everything that happened during the during the election period where it, a certain tribe was actually you know refused from voting how people were killed how people were massacred how buses uh, ballot boxes were snatched how some people were wounded you know even in campaigns they would beat the, the hell out of them in lagos and some places they told him and i'm going to be sure you that video is quite interesting to see because nigerians actually a lot of them came out angry and they said what they had to say to him and told him to keep quiet if he has nothing to say because this is exactly what he does during election period i'm going to be showing you that video in the jiffy but before i do that let me tell you that the reverend father has also come out to give bola Tinubu and his team a very strong warning saying a nation is doomed when the people in leadership don't fear the people when 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 those that are that are leaders or the rulers don't fear the masses he said that nation is actually doomed and gave his own example and said it has come to the level in nigeria where nobody is afraid of anybody again the leaders do things without without with impunity without fear and then they believe that the people cannot do nothing that but they should be very very careful because trust me the people are getting frustrated the people are getting tired and then they are going to revolt let me show you that video and when i come back we can actually talk about it instead of you are being provoked to repentance you are provoked to anger against the person who tells you what you are doing is wrong you are doomed but worse still a nation is doomed when its leaders are no longer afraid of the reaction of the people. The religious leaders of Israel at that time, the Pharisees and the chief priests, they wanted to arrest Jesus, but they were afraid of the people. It was only when they were able to manipulate the people that they eventually arrested Jesus and had him killed. Any time a government is no longer afraid of its citizens, that nation is doomed. We can see what is happening in our country today. Who is afraid of who? Government? Afraid of you? Afraid of workers? Are you seeing it right? Yes, what he said is the absolute truth. It is clear that these people have no fear. They believe Nigerians cannot do anything. So they do whatever they want to do without fear. And they believe that one way or the other, nothing will happen. It's very clear. And the funny part of this whole thing is that the warnings are being given. on Almost on a daily basis now. Those that you thought were oppositions are not even the ones warning you again. The people that you call your allies are the ones sitting you down and say, look, we are heading towards doom. We are heading towards a place where if you're not careful, we will run for our lives. Because these people have gotten to the level where they are angry. The hunger has started causing anger. And anger is breeding small, small sections of talks on how they are going to hit the streets. The warnings are coming. But what is he doing? He has shut the doors of Asu Rock. That people cannot actually access him again. People cannot actually go to him and say the truth. And these people after they're warning him heavily and say, be very, very weary of what you're doing. Because trust me, this is a very big problem. Sooner than later, you get to realize it. But like Pharaoh, his ears are shut. He will not listen. And then at the end of the day, people now hit the street. And then it becomes a problem. Nigerians are frustrated because clearly these leaders have no respect for anybody. They do things without thinking. Look at the most recent appointment. 
a woman that literally hot palliatives looted palliative and 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 and, and hid them things that were supposed to go for the poor people to eat during covid 19 you packed them and kept them in one place refused to share that is how wicked the character is and then the next thing you had a bed day you carried those palliatives as and you were sharing it to your friends the same person got an appointment if it's in a country that the leaders or the rulers whatever it is you know care about the people they will look at the portfolio of this person and that is why we have failures in all sectors people with mindset of criminality in all sectors and that is why no matter what he comes out to say he receives ev everything they come out to finish him let me show you what he actually said to 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 um, uh, trump and then when i come back and hear what people have to say then we'll come and wrap it up now let me quickly read what Bola Ahmed Tinubu tweeted. He said, the attack on the former president Donald Trump is detasteful and goes beyond the palace of democratic norms. Violence has no place in democracy. I extend my sympathies to the former president and wish him relief. I also condole with the family of the deceased and those wounded and wish them a quick recovery. Nigeria stands in solidarity with the United States of America at this time. This was his tweet. Now let me show you the reactions of Nigerians because you will just know that this is a good tweet actually but nigerians are very very angry so let's read now let's read the tweet from i am ify he said really the author of grab it snatch it and run with it has spoken that chief tenable condemns attack on trump could as well be classified as nigerian's presidential prank nigeria is finished with the likes of tenable as president and laugh emoji now another Twitter user said, Is Donald Trump more important than the children who lost their lives and were injured in the school building collapse in Jaws? It saddens my heart to see this coming from our dear president. Trump would not put out a press release if it were about Nigeria. Now Henry Moore said, The message is an insult to Nigerians. They, this empty head and his cohorts have no regard for the masses. They make no comment and take no action when the masses are suffering. US and France are the priorities of the Nigerian head of state. It's on if Una like, make Una sit down. They look. Now Mecca said, Sir, if it is actually you posting this and not a jury, then I must warn you there's fire on the mountain. You need to do something ASAP. Stop thinking it's the handiwork of the opposition. Nigerians are desperately hungry and already have their backs to the wall. Now Queen B said, Violence has no place in democracy. Bola Metinubu, wonder shall never end. Trying so hard to erase history of less than two years. Now Julius said, wow, wow, wow. Now this is a real surprise. You said, and I quote, violence has no place in democracy. If that's the case, then who is the who is this telling talks to fight, grab it, snatch it, and run with it? A statement that culminated into several lives lost during the 2023 presidential election. Now Dogu said, what happened in Lagos in the last general election was washed off than what happened in the u.s nevertheless in nigeria it's an all commerce affair now abiodun said bro a school building collapsed in just plateau state nigeria some days ago about 22 children slash peoples lost their lives and about 200 injured and no word on it from you our president and here you are talking about america really really and then the person downstairs jelly puppy said very embarrassing now these are some out of the many many reactions of nigerians to the tweet of bola metinobu let's get back to the video you can see how frustrated nigerians are and are very angry situation happened that period he has not talked about the lives that were lost in plateau state all he's talking about is trump and then he's the king of violence saying this let's get back to the video and then let's wrap this up you see it right now i ask in god's name what justification do these leaders have sometimes to make some tweets a person wins an election that is that is clearly good like south africa and all that you go there to go and actually congratulate him when in your own 
what you do is to kill, snatch, grab, do everything evil. And that is why Peter Obi will tell you that he's not pro his problem is not who is the president. It's the process as who the person came to the seat of power. If you must call yourself your excellency, or we must call you your excellency, then the process that brought you to that excellency has to be excellent. No matter how we say, yes, and all over the world, there are elections, no matter what election cannot be totally free and fair, do the needful. Nigeria own is criminal from the beginning to the end. We saw what INEC did after giving them 300 and something billion to conduct an election. These guys defrauded Nigerians and nobody has come to ask. Nobody has done a forensic, forensic study. Nobody has done audits. Nothing on that money is just silent. Why? Because the man rigged in somebody that didn't win. If he had done the right thing, they would not start the attacker. South Africa used a lesser amount and they got excellent results. Suddenly, on the day of election, one part was going, the other part was not going. The one for the House of National Assembly was going. The one for the presidency, they say something glitch. And up to today, nobody can explain that glitch. Up to today, nobody can explain how they spent 300 and something billion. These people tell Nigerians to manage, tell Nigerians to suffer, and they are living their glorified lives, buying houses, renovating, building houses of 21 billion for a vice president. And they keep telling you it's going to get better. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. There is no light anywhere. The point is they have come to a level where they don't fear at all. It's just like how God gave Pharaoh a hardened heart, a reprobate heart. That when the warnings were all over the place, he didn't even listen. He paid attention to the group of people. And that is what Tinubu is doing, paying attention to the few group of people with the mindset of criminality. And they are telling him, echoing it in his ear, we are, everywhere is fine. Everywhere is okay. You are doing a great job. Why people are wallowing, hanging themselves in this country. The most recent of that young man that the VIO or whatever they call them, the, 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 the security team in Lagos actually took his keke and he had to go and hang himself. It's just because of the policies I didn't do that video. People are literally on their own dying in this country out of hardship. Look at the young man that went to go and clamp that MTN, what is, whatever, and wanted to jump down because of how difficult things have become. Nigerians are now suicidal. And then these leaders are still living, their rulers are still living in their glorified space, opening their hands. It's left for Nigerians to pick the challenge. And say enough is enough or remain in the shackles of this wickedness and poverty we have a choice to liberate ourselves or to remain slaves forever let me drop it here guys drop your comments in the comment section we really love to hear from you we would love to hear your comments subscribe to this channel if you haven't turned on the notification bell so that whenever i drop a video you'll be the first to be notified i'm obedient and i'm you so i hope you are fingers crossed let's keep holding them responsible and see how it pans out god bless you i'll see you next time